Ambassador Majid Abdelaziz, I'd like to invite him to come and say a few words, if you would, about um, the, some of the African mandates and priorities. So please welcome. And I would like to, th to thank uh, the, the uh, Institute and, um, and, uh, and the Peace Island Institute and the Journalist uh, Writers and Foundation uh, for uh, organizing this series of, of meetings with ambassadors, starting with the meeting today. And I'm sure that there, is going, there are going to be some more uh, meetings to follow on this, in this regard. I just came back from the African summit in Addis Ababa a few days ago. And I came back full of optimism and full of a forward-looking strategy. Because what I have seen there is, despite all the problems that have been touched upon by all our panelists today, that Africa is moving on the right track. And is moving in the right track in a way that is forcing us in the United Nations to support Africa and to do better in support for Africa uh, from uh, our side. On the, on the peace and security side, uh, the number of peacekeeping missions is declining in Africa. Uh, Africa is finding African solutions for African problems. And even sometimes, not with the support of the United Nations, but we try our best to support every single move that is being done by the African Union. And, um, and on the economic side, we, uh, we see a, a lot of potential in Africa, and we see that Africa is embarking on a new transformative agenda that is going to lead for the next 50 years with the Vision 2063 document that is under consideration, which is going to be a, a approved and adopted by uh, the next African summit in, um, in uh, July, and with the post-2015 uh, uh, development agenda position that is going to be approved in Jamina by the end of this month. That added to the position of Africa on the Sustainable Development Goals, which have been uh, approved in November, provide a, a, a very concrete and very viable package for, the, uh, for Africa's uh, future in the economic field. And the United Nations is committed to continue supporting Africa in this regard. On human rights and, um, and, uh, and good governance, the APRM have increased its numbers. It's now 34 uh, countries. Uh, one more country have joined during the African summit. Uh, uh, about 17 uh, countries have been reviewed, and m many of them have come back to answer the shortcomings before the African leaders in the African summit. So there is a lot that have been done by Africa, and there is a lot that have been done by the African Union and its sub-regional organizations. And the United Nations is committed to be supportive to uh, the African Union, to the sub-regional organization, and to each and every of the African countries in uh, uh, pursuing uh, the best for their peoples and for their aspirations. Thank you very much.